was a dark and stormy night. Y'all, I'm just trying to set the mood for this episode two of The Walking Dead. I'm a huge candle person, and I also just like setting a nice atmosphere whenever I'm sitting down and recording and everything. So yeah, anyways, let's just quick, let's get started. <laughs> Give me that previously on The Walking Dead. No, 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 don't look at it. Don't look at it. I don't want to see anything. I don't want to see a title. I don't want to see anything that could indicate what we're going to face. All right. So episode two, Suffer the Children. It still throws me off that there's only four episodes this season, which I think is definitely why they made them much larger episodes. But also keep in mind, I need Previously to remind on The Walking Dead. On me. AJ and I had been searching for a long time for some place we could call home. Just when we thought we'd found a huge stash of food, it turned out to be a trap. That could have been the end. I love the art. But I woke up and found I'd been saved by a guy named Marlin. Rest in peace. The leader of a community living inside an old boarding school. It felt like a chance at having a home, a real one. We had to go back to the train station to see if any food survived the explosion. But someone else had the same idea. Bang, bang. When AJ distracted him, I shoved him into a pack of walkers. Oh yeah, we didn't even shoot him, did we? We just threw him to the wolves. I found Marlon and Brody in the basement that night, arguing about the man we'd seen. And I learned why Brody was so afraid. The man was part of a group of raiders they'd run into a year ago. Raiders. Marlon traded Tennessee's older sisters to the raiders to keep himself safe. He attacked Brody and locked me in the basement with her. When she turned, I had to stop her. Marlon stole AJ's gun and tried to convince them I had murdered Brody. Hmm. Violet backed me up. I'm so glad I made that I choice too. Marlin and made him drop the gun. I told him we could fix things together. But then Marlin was dead. AJ and AJ pulled the trigger. He remembered what I taught him. To always aim for the head. He was like, why is everybody looking at me? He was so in shock that what he did was wrong. All right, let's see how they take to this, because that's exactly how it ended it. So also, we need to keep an eye out for collectibles for our room, although who knows if we're going to be here for much longer. I kind of assumed that this was going to be what we created to become our home, considering how much effort they put into collecting and adding like a flair to it with all the things you can, you know, add to it. He did get us so much food. I made you some coffee. It was in the kitchen. Tin said that I can have some. I didn't steal it. Oh. <sighs> that probably... I'm surprised you remember how to make it. We haven't had coffee in yeah. a long time. You put it in hot water. You're right. Thanks. He is a little Last sassy. Night, with Marlin, I heard Lewis and, and what he called me. Am I a murderer? Oh crap, my controller's shaky and don't like that one. No! Oh my god! Shit! We could get medicine from the nurse's office. He's dead. For a shot in the- kid blew his brains out. <laughs> You shot him. He's dead. You're a murderer. Marlon, he... He was down. You had him yeah. beat. What the fuck did you teach this kid? Was that a direct result because of me? Lewis called me a murderer. But... But we're supposed to kill bad stuff. Monsters. Did I do it bad? I thought Marlon was bad. 
Lewis was out of line. He killed Brody. He he kept telling lies. What you did was wrong. Lewis was right. Sometimes people do bad things, like Marlin did. But when you shot him, he wasn't a threat to us anymore. If you kill someone when they're no longer threatening you, that's murder. So he is a murderer. What are we going to do? I can still teach him right and wrong. Your relationship with AJ has changed. Y'all, I'm gonna hit the bad ending. I already know it. I already know. Back off, all of you! You talked Marlin down, and then they fucking murdered him! Take AJ, go inside. Come on, let's go. Violet's on her side, though. Yeah. Oh, just let them go back to the dorms? What happens the next time one of us does something this kid doesn't like? Should we expect a bullet too? That's not what happened. AJ wouldn't it's do exactly that. It's exactly what happened. It was over. The little Mr. Trigger Happy decided otherwise. Marlin tried to kill us. Marlin started this. He killed Brody and almost got me too. AJ did what he had to do. What he had to? I don't need a good he relationship didn't have to shoot with Marlin Lewis. Marlin in the fucking skull. It was over. We get it, Lewis. Just back off, okay? Back off? Seriously? Let's go. Clem? Clem? Uh. If I'm a murderer, am I gonna die too? What? No. Well, I think murderers are like monsters, and... I know what happens to monsters. Nothing good. Nothing good at all. They can be forgiven. You're not a monster. AJ, you're not a monster. They think I am. I wish they didn't. We're going to fix this, you and me. I'm going to help you atone. Atone? Oh. It means make up for what you did wrong. Mm. We'll make it all right with the others. I'm not quite sure we can actually do that. But... <laughs> for God's sake, someone help me with this! <laughs> Save you from that car wreck and you fucking murdered him? Get back, Mitch. Get back. Ooh. What? You're gonna let him kill me too? Disarm then Mitch. who's next? Or he'll Sim? shoot. Willie? We can't keep killing each other. Haven't enough people died tonight? Yeah. Brody, Marlin, we can't keep killing each other. I don't want them all to be scared oh, of me. Why are you saying that to me after what he did? Screw both of you. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder what happens if you choose Lewis to step in over Violet. Hey, what is it? You've killed a lot of people. You murdered your friend Lee, didn't you? What? Well, not you the said same he was thing. He wasn't a threat. So that means you murdered him. I ended his suffering. How dare you ask me that? I ended his I suffering. I killed him because I loved him. I didn't want him to suffer. How? He'd be dead. He'd be he would have turned. I didn't want that for him. He deserved better. And so did Kenny. I love you, Clem. I love you back. Wow, that's so unique. She, instead of saying two, she said back. I love you back. Hey. <laughs> Violet said to come get you for the funeral. Really? We used to have them more. Then we stopped. It seems right, though. I brought you something. For me? I Aww. figured you'd be afraid, with everyone all upset. But you were brave last night. Like a firefighter. Oh. <laughs> no. Firefighters are good. I'm a murderer. No, you're not. You gotta have a trial first. They decide that stuff in a courtroom. That's how it works. Uh, worked. Before. Back then, there were all kinds of rules. Before about who was happen. innocent, who was guilty. It was complicated. We have to decide things for ourselves now. We mm -hmm. can't rely on other people to make the rules for us. Who decided you're a murderer? Lewis. Clem. But she's right. So's everyone else. I think you're okay. 
Oh, I guess I decided it because sure of my definition. Like you should keep him, because you're good like him. But maybe we could play with him later? Together? Sure. After the funeral. They buried them already. The vial started soon. See you out there. Okay, so just real quick, because I, I don't want to keep talking over them. I already feel bad enough that I've done it a couple times. Um, so I find that interesting they're inviting him to the funeral, but I guess my actions, I think I didn't fully understand the weight of my actions in the first episode and how much they are going to, like, curate the person that, um, or, like, determine the person that, AJ turns out to be. I know they've mentioned that multiple times, but I would be really interested interested to see which one of my choices in episode one led him to make that decision. Does Marlon die no matter what? Or did my like teachings directly result in him shooting him? I know he aimed for the head like we always said, but maybe that's because I chose I chose that principle relying on what Lee had taught us, but that doesn't necessarily mean it needs to be taught onto AJ. And so maybe there was a more neutral option out of those three choices when I said shoot him in the head that would have not had him result. I think I'm thinking, I'm overthinking too much already. But all this to say, um, I wanted to pause it because I think the reason why Tennessee doesn't feel as strongly of like hate or feeling like I'm a murderer is because he knows what Marlon did to his sisters. And so, he maybe probably thinks there might be some justice in what happened to Marlon, but he seems to be one of the few people looking at me um, without disgust. So, okay. <laughs> Sorry. This is gonna be hard. Everyone's going to be upset. We need to show them we care, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so showing them to care. Well, let's drink some coffee. She looks like she needs it. <laughs> when you're ready, go to the funeral. What else do we have to interact with? <laughs> At least these won't die. His face. Maybe there's some way we can... Okay, well, first of all... Oh, I can't grab my hat. I just have a feeling that it's going to end with me giving my hat to AJ. I can't see an ending where Clem makes it they out look alive. good together. Do you think his is better? No, I like them both. <laughs> huh. All right, let's talk to him one last time. Well, let me make sure that there's nothing else. Oh, I can interact with the deer skull. I like that we picked that one up. Or maybe I don't. It's very ominous. Time to go. Soon. Hmm. Maybe just giving you a second chance to observe the things that you've put in here. It's kind of strange. Uh. Okay, we can't look at the coffee he made, but... Okay, let's go to the funeral. Ready? The earbuds just don't want to stay in today. <laughs> Your hat. We could use a nice rug in there. That would be perfect. AJ is shaped by what you teach him. Great. About to find out what kind of parent I'm going to end up being. Attend the funeral. They're not going to want us there. I already know this is going to turn out to be like an argument of some sort. Can we talk to AJ before it happens? Oh. I did that. Come on. Hmm. Anything else? I don't see you coming up with any brilliant ideas. I'm trying to think who was closest to Marlin, like who would be the most upset about it. Poss probably Lewis. 
Yeah. Brody. She did not deserve that. Not the dog. Oh, God. They're here. So what? They knew Brody, didn't they? Yeah, but Marlin... Just leave them alone. <sighs> Shit. Let's go, bye. Clem? What? Why do they people have funerals? All right, here we Soon go. said they used to have them more if they died. To say one last goodbye. I don't get it. Well, to oh, remember shit. people we loved. They and loved Marlin. Yeah, they did. I made them all sad. Like if someone took you away. Does everyone get a funeral? People do. Some animals, too. Even monsters? Marlin wasn't a monster. Everyone gets one. It's for Brody and I. Marlin did bad things, but he wasn't a monster. I know. Yeah, I need to reiterate that. Ten. You ready? Brody, you always said you wanted to go to the beach. So, uh... I drew it for you. Marlin was... I can't. Not for Marlin. After what he did to the twins and Brody, I... You didn't even like Brody! You were always mean to her. So? I can't. Someone else do it. Bitch. Oh. Dude, don't. Oh. Seriously, Lewis. Oh. He was your best friend. Yeah, you perfect? there I was, right? You deserve better than to get gunned down by that kid. They just killed him like it was nothing. AJ made we a all mistake. Saw it, and no one stopped him. You're AJ right, Mitch. Marlon didn't deserve what AJ did to him. I know what I did. I'm sorry. I know I'm a murderer. But I'm gonna, uh, uh... Atone. Yeah, atone it. Fuck, I can't listen to this. What I did was bad, and I'm gonna make it up to you. I promise. You don't have to make up shit. Mm. Marlin was a fucking murderer and a liar, and if we'd all asked more questions about Minnie and Sophie disappearing last year, none of this would have happened. She's got a point. Shut yeah, up! she does. It wasn't Marlin's fault. Then whose fault was it? This is all. AJ was still wrong. Whatever happened before, AJ shouldn't have killed Marlin. Yeah, he wasn't hurting anybody when I killed him. See what I mean? How can any of us trust these fucking people? What are you saying? I'm saying they gotta fucking go. Take yeah. a vote. Majority decides. They stay or they leave. Today. We're taking our food with that us if that's the case. Fair. Are you serious? It's bullshit. You're bullshit. Please, Please don't, don't do, do this. this. I know you're angry, but You me don't know shit. If you did, you would've stopped AJ. Like you stopped Marlin from killing Brody? Fucking hypocrite! Get him. Get him. A vote's the only way to settle this, or we'll be arguing forever. Fine. I guess we're fucking voting. Damn it. I didn't flirt enough with Lewis. He's not Lewis gonna be on our side. Vote. Could you go get him? And try to talk to him? No. Come on, Rosie. Come here, girl. Aww. Rosie. We know. Could you guys go wait in the dorm? I'll come get you. We know Rosie, or sorry, Violet and Ten are on our side. They'll vote for us. That's two. Please don't kick us out. Come on, let's go. The music right now. I would get rid of the broken clock. For some reason, that just seems very daunting. <laughs> they could always send us to the fishing house, like the boat house. <gasps> AJ, stop. You'll break your toe or something. 
Mm. Come here, sit down. No. It didn't work. I did what you said, and they didn't even care. I know that I was bad, but, but they don't let me fix it. AJ, breathe. Remember what we do when we're mad? You can't just fix somebody's on, death. You don't want to be loud, do you? What do we do when we're mad? We stop and think and, um... I'm still really, really mad. <laughs> I know that I'm not supposed to get mad. He's not wrong. Or sad, because then I do dumb things. It's okay to be upset. And you have every reason to be upset. We'll deal with it together, okay? Yes. Okay. We stop, we think, and we breathe. Breathe. Feel better? You're still mad, huh? And, uh... I think I'm sad, too. Mm. I did what you told me to. I know. You're a good listener. I wanted to make them all feel better. It didn't work. Why'd you tell me to do that if it didn't work? They wouldn't listen. I was wrong. Don't give up yet. Don't give up yet. Yeah. He wants results so fast we that he doesn't that let it, it work. work itself they might have out. Voted for us to stay. I don't know. They seem pretty mad. Violet was on our side. Maybe she'll persuade the others. Yeah, In 10. Maybe. I don't want to go. <sighs> I know you don't. I like knowing where we are all the time. The bed. The food. I like the other kids. Not all of them, but Tin and Lewis and Violet. Mm. No. Lewis and Violet together. They're we kicking took the vote. You have to leave. Yeah. Don't we get to vote? I vote that we stay. That's not how it works. Maybe it should be. You don't have to like it. I'll learn to live with Good, it. Good, because I don't. You're all crazy. Whatever, Lewis. Fine. I get it. We'll learn to live with your decision somehow. We're taking her food, though. Seriously? And That's my it? skull. You know this is fucking wrong, and you're not going to fight it at all? What's the point? You've already decided. Yes, we have. So fucking stupid. You said you'd go along with it, if we voted fairly. It's bullshit. And you'd know it if you weren't so used to burying your head in the sand. Oh, I'm burying my head in the sand? Hate Marlin all you want, but you can't tell me AJ isn't dangerous too. Mmm. We should have known he wasn't going to... Remember when he saw we'll AJ with the gun? We'll wait back up, then Lewis and I'll escort you out past the safe zone. I'll make sure you get to the road safely. We don't want it's your not help. not a lot, but at least you won't die on the way. We could have happily dumped you outside the gates. Thanks for making sure that we... <laughs> no, don't thank them! It's, it's their fault we gotta leave. They're gonna get rid of us. They can deal with the bandits get on their own. under control. AJ, breathe. <laughs> Where's Tin? I gotta say goodbye. He was really upset about the vote, and he's not talking to anybody. They're gonna it's fall best apart to leave anyway. He's like this, but for the record, he it's wanted not. you to stay. I guess that. Wait. Does AJ still have that gun? Uh, we're taking it with us. Are you kidding me? Hand it over. Heck no. 
Is this necessary? Hell yes, it's necessary. I'm not walking out into the woods with him holding that thing. Keep it's the yours, gun. AJ. You should keep it. I don't care but about Lewis's feelings Marlo anymore. Yeah, but you'll need protection outside. Fine. Let the kid keep the murder weapon. <sighs> don't look at me like that. I don't feel bad for that. If they're going to throw us out to the unsafe zone and we're going to be on our own, we need that weapon. We spent so much time making it our home. Take this goal. <laughs> I love how they're not talking about a plan to try to figure out what happened to their friends or anything like that. I know they're trying to deal with one situation at a time, but are they forgetting that their ten sisters are somewhere out there? And Lord knows what's happened to them. Which I obviously can't go running into the woods and being like, give us back our sisters, but still. It just seems like such a second thought to them. Will we get another car? Probably not. We got lucky before. So we're walking. <laughs> My shoes are gonna break. Well, we'll have to hope they hold out. My feet are gonna bleed again. We'll tear up a shirt and tie them up if we have to. It's not so bad. Oh! <laughs> you guys have been- I mean, we've done this before. He's been held Probably up in the same place. Good at it by now. Almost like going home for you guys. Uh, uh hold on. I just, yeah. It almost killed us. Don't pretend you care. Damn it. I'm like... I hate running. I should have said something. They've stayed in the same place since this shit went down, and you're gonna say it's not that bad. We're here. The road's that way. Anything you want to say before we go? Bye-bye. I've said plenty. Thanks for trying to keep us. You're welcome. I wish you could stay. They should have given us some food. This. Come on, let's just go. You didn't have much. Give I us wish a we... minute. Would you? Yeah, so do I. I, I wish we hadn't fucked it up. Sorry, you didn't. Wrong answer. Arlen did. Even dead, he's still ruining shit. Jesus, Violet. Give him some fucking peace. Just stay safe, both of you. <laughs> Still got that gun? Just try to be more careful with it, okay? I will. <laughs> Lewis, I thought I liked you. That's I'm trying to. The sun will set soon. Hold on. How do you know? I don't know. I can just feel it. How? <laughs> There's this cold that settles on my skin. It happens right before a storm, too. I don't feel that. Hm. You haven't been on the road as long as me. Clem? Hmm? Will we be okay? I thought we were done running from all the bad people. It will be better. The monsters. We'll find some place new, some place better. I'll try not to mess it up. Uh, already? We're gonna be glad we have that gun. What the hell? Now come on out. I saw a couple of you on the road. How long do you think you can hide? Oh, shit. He's still That's alive? That's the, the train station? Yes. I thought he died. How? They you amputated him. You can survive a bite if you cut it off fast enough. Ugh. Stay here. Aim RS. Get him. Get him. Come on, Clem. Uh. Come on. Tough little bitch, aren't you? 
finish him off. Leave Just us alone. Walk away and we'll let you go. <gasps> what the hell? What the hell? I should have done nothing. Who the f is this? I wouldn't, boy. Any closer, your friend might get her head blown off. Abel. Good to see you again, Squirt. <laughs> Don't! Oh, no. I've seen these ones before. Fighters. Both of them. You'll like them. We're looking for a kid. Runs a community near here. Marla. Mm. <laughs> He's dead. Well, shit. This can still work. How about it? You want to take us back to your school? Help us talk to your friends? It's not like you have many other options. Those kids are dangerous. I don't live there. Come on, kid. We don't want to be out here all day. It's not my school. I don't live there. I find that very hard to believe. Not a lot of kid communes around here. Ah, don't! Ah! Let him go, please! Sure, if you do like we ask. Otherwise, I'm happy to crack his head open. You ever seen old fruit explode after you throw it at something? That's just how it'll look. Clementine! Uh, uh, Wait. Clementine, it's you? What? I... My name is Lily. Are you... <laughs> Flipping deaths right now? That... A spiteful little... Is still alive? Are you serious? Oh, I remember Probably you. Probably don't remember me. Oh no, I do. Lily? You killed our favorite girl. You died. I came close. <laughs> the hell? Not now. Clearly had a change the of fuck heart. Is this? I said not now. Okay, okay. I'm gonna be smart about this. I'm gonna be smart about this. <sighs> Lee isn't with you. So he's dead then. And somehow you've I'll managed never to survive. Him me on the side of the road to die. I don't blame him. I was clearly a threat to the group after I shot that girl. Carly. She had a name. Lee should have left you behind too. Might have lived longer if he did. Same thing will happen to you if you repeat his mistakes. I should have not Your little her. boy there. You'll die protecting him. You may be able to keep this up a while longer, but eventually he'll slow you down. A walker you didn't spot. A bullet you couldn't dodge. A desperate cry for help that brings the herd. It happened to Lee, and it'll happen to you. I don't think so. She doesn't Agent know how, how he died. Handle himself. He's got spirit, I'll give you that. But you and I know that won't be enough. Fuck, we don't have time for all this. We've got history. Great. <laughs> You know her, I know her. Point is, we've got a job to do. We can help you raise that boy, Clementine. But we need you to do something for us. <laughs> what? Help you kidnap a couple more kids? We don't need a couple. We need all of you. We'll take you back to the Delta to join our people. We have walls, we have working solar panels, and we grow our own food. All we need from you is to go back to your friends and convince them to come peacefully. Why? No one will be harmed. I'm not Marlin. Here's what I'll do. I'll take the little squirt here right now. That way, I'm sure you'll play nice. Be smart about this, Clementine. They're still here. It's an us or them kind of world, Clem. If you want to save your little one, you won't pick them. Shoot! Oh! AJ! Oh, Lewis. I'd rather take out Lily than... I know that was probably such a bad move, but I don't at this point. 
Come on, AJ. As long as we survive, who really cares what happens to that group? They're gonna get us. And this is not gonna be good for us. What the F is wrong with him? AJ. He's so damn fast. He's so small. He has to reload. Come on. Really, Lily? You're gonna shoot at us too? Cold-hearted bitch. I don't know which direction I went. Please tell me she does not survive all of this. I don't know what's going on. My headphones will not sing. I don't like these chase sequences. Oh, shit. Okay, this isn't bad. This isn't bad. Nice. Clem, get up. Wait a minute, what? Oh. I think we lost him. They're gonna waste all their bullets on too. Shit! Oh. Thumb, don't betray me now. Let's go, Clem. Let's freaking go. survive. He's got to survive. Stab him in his face. We gotta get him somewhere. We gotta get him medical supplies. We have to go back to the group. We have to go back to the group. Wait, I need to stay by him. Okay, go this one first. I need to just go straight to it. I can't be... Nice. Your butts are in the wrong ears. Walkers are dangerous in groups. Press B to break them up. Okay. Okay. It said press B to break them up. Let me go this way. Press B on her and then run. Okay, I got you. I got you. And then they get back up. All right, press B on this front one. That's too close to the other one. It's too close. I'm gonna die. I'm dead. Damn it. Oh. <laughs> okay, give me one more second. Let's just run that back a little bit. Uh, all I had to do was keep them away from each other. I'm such a goofball. All right, let's go this way first. Actually, let's go ahead and take this one out as fast as possible. Stab it. Yeah. I let them gather. It was like keep them separate from groups. I'm gonna group them together. Run, 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 run. What? It was that close? I guess they really do move fast. All right, we gotta completely break them up. So just press B to get them away. Let's do this again. Go for this one first. Third time's the charm. Remember that they catch up really fast. Let's break this one's knees. Don't let that one get us. Break this one's knees, too. And then... Uh, they get up so quickly. And then if I break his knees while she's close enough... What? I pressed Y on him! Hey, what? I pressed Y on him and it didn't work? It goes straight into him grabbing me? Are you serious? What the heck? Use B to break them up. Stab this one. It just didn't even give me the option to why it. Okay, I know this one's gonna go after me no matter what. Okay, that was actually smart. They were far, far enough away. Okay, so all we have to do for this one is break the knees on one. But 
They're so close. So maybe one is naturally faster. Yeah, check it out. Looks like there's a shack over there. Yeah, this one's naturally faster. Uh, I need him to get a little bit more speed against his friend. I'm surprised they don't have him go for AJ. Now this one's catching up. What the heck? This one just got a, a burst of energy. No, 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 no. Wyatt, Wyatt, Wyatt. Okay. Four times the charm. Mm. There's so many. You gotta be kidding me. Wait, that's no. a... So clever. It definitely takes it a step further. Huh. Follow. I just want us to follow a random person that has a leather face on. We always luck out in the woods. We found Luke, we found this guy. Something about the woods. It's... Actually, now that I think about that, Clem has always survived on her own or like throughout, like so far because of her protector. I say protector slightly, but because of people finding her in dire situations, I feel like. Like, we've always been lucky enough to be brought into groups. Cauterize the wind. Get the shrapnel out. Me? I'll keep him still. Mm. Oh, jeez. <laughs> okay, guys, sewing up ourselves, not bad. Having to pull it out of him. I am not good with blood, even if it's fake as well. Trying not to be loud. That's okay, oh. AJ. Just breathe. Put your hands there. Stop, Stop the bleeding. Oh, okay, oh yeah, here we go. I'm just gonna patch you up. It's enough for now. I wonder if we ever see his real face. Oh, easy, easy. Oh, no, where's our stuff? My gun. We lost it, buddy. Lewis got shot. I saw. They saved us. They yeah, did. they did. It sucks. Oh. I love you back. Is he a fish hanging up? I didn't mean to endanger you. The walkers were sent to help you. Uh, you simple what? walkers? was part of a group, call themselves Whisperers. They've learned to live in herds, among walkers. Move <laughs> what? Them them. Sometimes, guide them. Why are you alone? 
If you were part of a group. They attacked a community. Saw the carnage. Didn't want to be part of it. Oh, does it hurt? Hungry. I love how he always says that. Just hungry. Nothing like I'm hungry. It's an apple. Eat. Both of you. I don't know why I'm choosing to be trusting today. We don't have a lot of options. Thank you. You have Can Apple. you have a name? <laughs> Seems okay to you. Been a while. Since. I've said it. James. James. I don't think we've I don't think we've ever seen Why it before. Why did you help us, James? Right? The people who attacked you. What do you know about them? Mm. They steal children. We know that I they know steal they children. Steal kids. They took two last year. A common practice for them. They're at war up north. Their entire community against another. But why That's children? why they take people. To make them fight. Train okay. them. Use them. That makes sense. You would join their war. That's horrible. Yes. That's why I helped you. Thank you. I don't know why Wait. I just have a good feeling about James. Throw it. Distract him. Works just as well. When nobody is... gets hurt. Not us. Not him. See, I don't know about that, but I'm gonna distract just because we got brought in by him and that's his practice and his way. And so I do want to respect that. Especially since he's offered stuff to us. Thank you. What an interesting notion, though. Safe. It was difficult to send the herd in to save you. I didn't want them to die. Huh. He is, oh, it was corn, it wasn't fish. He has corn. So, James, do you just hang around in the woods, saving random people? After I left my group, I wandered. First time alone, ever. Saw war everywhere. First against walkers, then against each other. Mm-hmm. Hoped it would be better here. Where are you from? Here? Or somewhere far away? I'm gonna open up with him. I don't know why, I just trust Georgia. him. Long way from home. It feels like forever ago. It was. I think it's because he has a calming voice, so I just like, you're just like more trusting of it, and he's so peaceful. So, where are you from? Washington. He's a long way. The city or the state? Fair. The city. Oh, okay. <laughs> Dad ran a food truck. I helped. You've got a fever. His wound will need proper cleaning and medicine, if you're lucky enough to have any. The school has medicine, but I don't think they'll share it. That's why those people attacked you, isn't it? To get to that school. They'll destroy whatever they find. Bring more guns, more fighters. Take everyone inside. They won't be able to fight them off. No.
You need medicine. You have to go back, or you'll lose him. I'll warn the school. I'll kill Lily and April. I'll warn the school. I have to go back and warn them. It's the right thing to do. And then I can get Noble medicine. Noble of you, despite their treatment. I'll help you get back, past the walkers. A few more hours and we'll go. That's a few hours for you to sleep. You must be so lonely on the road by yourself. I'll I stay mean... awake. You don't have to. Mm. Sleep. I'll keep watch. Y'all, that... No. Rest. James will remember that. I am putting a lot of our, I think it's because we're at the end of, you know, our journey and stuff. And so I just feel like she's got to be tired. I don't know. I just am very trusting of him. I feel like it's going to bite us in the butt, but. Being well rested could be the difference of life and death, true. Oh. Is he awake? Yeah, he's so hot. I can carry him. You're exhausted. No, I've got him. Isn't it more dangerous to make yourself look like a walker in some circumstances? I feel like it just puts a, you know, an X on your back. Uh, hurt. Hang on, we're almost there. This isn't gonna be good. Walker! You should at least take the mask off. Violet, Lewis, they came back. Look, you live out there alone, right? You could stay with us. Hmm. Not ready. Not ready. Thank you. Oh, is it because he's becoming heavy to hold? The I can't keep carrying you. Yeah, the controller's going crazy. We'll be inside soon. Rest now. They're not gonna let us in. Shit. Is he... Uh... He's alive. He was shot. He's he got a fever. Medicine. Come on, let's get him inside. I can't. Wow. Probably don't deserve that, but... It's okay, buddy. I got you. Let me see. I have what I need upstairs. Come on. She's actually gonna fix him. We got the shrapnel out of him. We? It's a long story. <laughs> they still have plenty of medical supplies too. It's kind of surprising. He's running a fever. Body's trying to fight infection, poor little guy. Ruby and Lewis will take care of him. You come with me. We can talk in the office. Clem? Shh. You just try to rest, okay? We're gonna fix you right up. Clem! Don't leave me. AJ, listen to Ruby, okay? 
She'll look after you. Come on, what do we do when we're scared? When fear starts to get the upper hand... We do our breathing. We breathe, we breathe in. Hold it in. I'm good now. Clementine, please. We need to talk. I like how she stepped up to the leadership role. I felt like she was very unsure for a little bit, but she seemed to become like gain a huge amount of confidence what within the group. What happened I saw they had you pinned and I, shit, I got so crazy. When I heard you call for help, I didn't even think. I just let go of the arrow. I wasn't even sure if I'd hit her. And yeah, then you did. got shot six, six inches over. We'd be digging another grave. I really thought you were dead, Clem. Sorry to disappoint. <laughs> it's just everything is so fucked right now. It's good to you see know? you. It's really good to see you again. It's good to see you too. Neutrality. Just wish Mitch and the others felt the same. Lewis and I told them what happened in the woods. That woman who attacked you, Lily. Mm. So you do know her. We were wondering. Out of Who all the, the people to make she? it from season one. I mean, I know you're not like with her group, but the others don't like the coincidence. Her showing up right after you. I mean, I wouldn't have recognized her if she hadn't recognized me first. We were in a group together a long time ago. Hope it was a different kind of group that didn't fucking steal people. Come on, <sighs> you know it was different. She murdered someone in our group, gunned them down during an argument. Carly was her name. She refused to let Lily push her around. It was right at the start. I haven't seen Lily since. I believe you. But? There's something else. Lily said someone was with you at the gates. James. He saved me and AJ. Let us stay in his camp for the night. But why did you bring him here? You led him right to us. I mean, he's a stranger, Clem. Running into those two in the woods, it proved we can't trust him. I trust him? You don't have to worry about James. We can trust him. Willie well, said he was wearing, I don't know, animal skins or something. Walker skin. He was wearing walker skin. That's how he gets past herds. He can guide them, too. Ugh. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I wouldn't have brought him here if I thought he was a threat. It's I've now not seen that it all. I don't trust you. I'm just worried about the others and what they might do. They didn't even get a chance to mourn Brody and Marlin before these child snatching assholes showed up. And then you two come back after That's we thought you were dead. Now they're confused and no one knows how to feel about AJ. Violet, AJ is the least of their worries. Mm -hmm. I know, but everything is such a mess. They're scared and angry and they're looking for someone to blame. I mean, they kicked you out. How am I supposed to make them change their minds about you? It was decided, five to three against. I know it feels like it shouldn't matter, but they were afraid of you. Both of you. You're in Marlin's chair. Last share. thing they need is more things to fear right now. You don't I'll have to. Them Let me convince them. Yeah. Not gonna bring up Marlin in James this situation. James told me what Lily and Abel will do next. He said they'll get more people and guns and come attack us. Take everyone here. How the hell would he know? He's watched them for a while. They're at war with another community. They take people to fight for them. Is that what happened to Minnie and Sophie? They turned them into soldiers? Yeah, it'll happen to us too if we don't stop them. Minnie didn't even like killing walkers. Uh, she really cared about them. Look at this place. It's a fortress. It's true. With a little work, we could make this place really hard to attack. Do you actually know how to do that? Yeah, I was part of a siege once in a town called Richmond. <sighs> Here, let me show you. Why didn't she go back to Richmond? Like, you know, why didn't she get him and go back? That's what I want to know the most. Set traps in admin building, divide the courtyard, fortify the walls. Fortify the walls. We've got good, strong walls. 
We need to make them hard to climb over, so the raiders have to come in through the gates. Mm -hmm. We used to keep barbed wire in the greenhouse. Heck yeah. We'll finally get to see what's in the greenhouse too, y'all. This is where we should make our stand. There's only one way in, the front, and then there's the big central staircase. If we rig that path with traps, we can pull back here. Luring in our attackers. I like it. At least we'll be fighting for ourselves instead of fighting for somebody else's battle. The courtyard's pretty wide open, not a lot of cover. We should flip the picnic tables, narrow down the pathways mm. through it, so we'll know which way they're coming. At the very least, it'll give us protection if they get past these walls. We're like, it's about to go down. Well, you guys don't use the greenhouse anymore, do you? No, we used to. Then we lost someone out there. Walkers overran the place and Marlin wouldn't let us go back. <laughs> Safe, Safe zone. We need to get that barbed wire so they can't climb the walls. I'll go. Are you sure? Tell the proof. It's gonna be swarming with walkers by now. Okay, what the hell's going on? Willie told me she was back, but I was like, no way. Violet wouldn't just go against what we all decided. This guy's such Shh, a butt. Would you keep it down? The little boy's asleep. His fever's already going down, Clem. He's gonna be okay. Yes. Great. We're just giving them our medicine, too? Mitch, those people who shot Lewis, they're arming up to attack the school. Mm -hmm. We need Clem's help. Like hell we do. For all we know, she's one of them. She's not. If you saw their leader's boot on Clem's neck, you'd know that. They shot Here's AJ. Use your head, Mitch. You saw AJ on your way in. If I was with the Raiders, why would they have hurt him like that? How do I know? Maybe he shot one of their friends. Oh Mitch! My... Clem's going to the greenhouse to find barbed wire and anything else she thinks we need for the fight, and you're going to help her. Ooh. Uh, no, I'm not. Yes, you are. It's too dangerous for her to go by herself, and you're good in a fight. I can go too. You know, to keep the peace. Okay. Fuck, Vi. Since when are you the one making the calls? <gasps> yeah. But I'm glad Since that we're getting no to go one with this group. Step the fuck up. <sighs> These two will meet you at the gate, and you can head to the greenhouse once I've explained the situation. All right, so. See you there. <laughs> I like that we're going on a trip with them because they didn't get to explore and or in the first Sorry episode. Hmm. He kicked us out. I... God, is that... Does it make his neck uncomfortable like that? Like, oh. <laughs> Sleeping like that? Jeez. Yeah, so I like that we're getting to go with the two individuals that we didn't spend a lot of time getting to know in EP1, um, in episode one. But... Guess I didn't realize how long it's been. How much it's changed. James has to have a greater purpose in this season. That was not, like, they didn't just kick uh, us out. This ain't budging. You gonna stand there sulking all day? You gonna do something useful? Well, we need that barbed wire. There must be another way in. Break the glass and pull the lever. I mean, I know that would make some noise, but still. Collectibles can be found in the world. Okay, let's find these collectibles, y'all. And look, there's the tower that I was looking at. So yes, we're finding a way in, but first and foremost, I want to find all the collectibles because we did not find them all last time. Look, a boar skull, another one. I missed a previous skull too. Wild boar. Not too many in these parts, but they were more common where I grew up. I used to hunt them with my old man when I was little. They uh -huh. make terrible noises when they die. I like it. It'll look good on my wall. And she's like, you're not staying here permanently? Yes, we have a wild boar skull. There's probably some other stuff as well. I love that they finally put collectibles in. I think it maybe would be hard to 
integrate that into the previous seasons, but I guess I would have liked to see it among all of them, but it wouldn't have made sense, right? Because, or I guess what would have been kind of cool is if there were collectibles in the previous seasons. So when you got this room, you could put up memories from all four seasons and not just this one. This is like the first time there hasn't been dialogue, I feel like. Are you okay? It's or like been idle so long time. since I was here. I used to love this place. But it's so overgrown. I'll be mm. fine. Let's just find a way in. Okay, I'm on it. I'm on it. There could be another collectible, most likely. So before I talk to them, nothing. No plants. I feel like there's gonna be fake plants. Oh. Well, that's how we're going to. Okay, that's gotcha. I can't see shit. Well, there's too much condensation on the inside. Condensation? That's a big word for you. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Let's see if we can at least maybe diffuse a little bit of the uh, anger from Micah. What do you or want? Mitch. Uh, nothing. You're only here because we're desperate, you know, so don't get comfy. If we survive these raiders... You and I are gonna have words. Let's survive first. Okay. We're gonna have words. <laughs> Put them up. All right, so this is definitely the way in. I'm just going to circle around real quick. I wanna make sure there's no other collectibles. I think it really was just that skull though. At least in this vicinity. Hmm. I wonder why they didn't allow you to turn on and off the, um, the darker style, the black graphic style. I don't really mind it either way. I think I would have minded it had I played them when they first originally came out and they didn't have that. Because I know you guys said that they applied it, it like, or they, uh, applied it after in the definitive series. That window. I bet we can get in there. Good spot. Mitch, come here and give me a boost. Wait. Make her go first. Uh. We send the one we don't mind losing. Respectable. That's an ugly thing to say. Vi says we need her help, right? That's you, Mitch. She shouldn't mind sticking her neck out. I'll go first. I don't mind. Huh. Figured you'd fight it. Thanks, Clem. Holler if one grabs you. Otherwise, we'll come as soon as you give the all clear. I guess we'll know when the door opens. Y'all, I want to play, I want to do a playthrough of all the seasons where I pick the most rude responses and see how things turn out differently, you know? Like, you're just a complete butthole. Doesn't appear like there's many walkers. Ah, oh, they are still alive. Hmm. Grab the knife. Get it, get it, get it. Nice. I think there's two more. I know I saw at least two more bodies. Told you to. All right, let's go this side first. Oh, God, I gotta go straight. Ooh, I knew he was close. I didn't realize he was that close. What? Okay. I would've just broken the glass. I'll get the door open. Although, yeah, okay, I guess if he broke the glass, one, you wouldn't know where the walkers were, but then that would've alerted them and they would've swarmed straight to the door. So it would've been hard to isolate them for the kill. Not bad. <laughs> Won a few points with him. Oh, look, wild ginger, Eastern prickly pear, Jerusalem artichoke. False Solomon seal. 
She knows her stuff. Let's find that barbed wire and anything else that might be useful. Why was the barbed wire in the... Uh, I guess if they were trying to protect the plants. Oh, she knows her stuff. There's literally a sign that says it. But okay, so we're finding the barbed wire, but first and foremost, let's look for some collectibles. I'll look at some of the things, but I want to... Ooh, can we get a little succulent for the room? Please. It won't allow us to get a cactus for the room. I think it's going to be in there, so I don't want to grab it yet. I don't want to talk to Mitch yet. I guess we'll start looking at these ob objects. Yes! Dibs! I just saw Smile, so that brings up a disturbing image in my head. Crowbar, or pry bar. That will do very nice. Pry bar, good for getting past locks. Oh, that might open something up for us. Actually, we might need to use that. Oh, look in the planter bed. That might be useful for the locker. Find something? Yep, maybe useful. Mm-hmm. The pathos. Good for digging. Could be a weapon. Or use it to dig a grave. It's pretty we weren't there when we dug the though. holes for Marlin and Brody. We had to use cups and bowls. Took forever. Oh, because they never came over here. She didn't grab it, though. Really? A lawnmower. There's a whole classroom behind there. Look. There's so much more to this. We really should try to get past it. I think the barbed wire isn't going to be in this section, so let me talk to her first. Or right, wait, let me pick a mushroom. Some mushrooms are edible. Oh, okay. Mysterious mushroom. Probably not edible. <laughs> I like that. All right, let's talk to Mitch Did first. Did you find anything? What do you think? Okay, just asking. You know, the barbed wire idea is smart, I'll give you that. Those assholes try and climb our walls, they'll tear their guts out. I kind of like to see that. I mean, there's no way we have enough barbed wire to cover the entire perimeter, though. They're making it sound like that, but... Oh, should I eat a mushroom? I didn't realize I could re... For science? <laughs> what does it say? I think it's not whatever's listed there. Let's talk to Ruby first. But can I take anything out of this plant bed? No. Should we eat the mushroom? Easy. Happy. It can only eat the same bland rabbit stew so many times before you go crazy. These herbs are going to do wonders for morale. You wait and see. Hmm. Okay. I see we do it. Ew. Mm. <coughs> 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 what? This was for science. science. Told you. For science. <laughs> All right. I think this is the last thing because it wasn't allowing me to keep. I mean, I really feel like we should have been allowed to keep a succulent. I want to, like, double check. Like, really nothing? All right, let's do it. Pry it open. Propane. Barbed wire. Barbed wire. A lot of it, too. That should oh. keep the raiders from climbing our walls. Hey. We can use these. For some reason, I found what? I saw the pro we and thought it was bombs perfect. out of these. Bombs? Are you serious? Totally. It's the kind of stuff I made back home. He used to oh. blow shit up. That's why he's a troubled youth. Guilty. Oh. We just okay. need some propane and something to create a spark, and we'll have ourselves a nice little homemade explosive. Very nice. So we need some propane after all. It should allow us to move this now. Yeah. The lab door. That's where we'll find propane. If I remember right, there's a science lab through that door. Mm -hmm. Maybe there's propane in there. Come on. Help me move this thing. Of course, Mitch. You don't have to say 
please. So loud. There's gotta be more walkers in there. Okay, let's see what's inside. Walkers. The science teacher. It's like a walker in a lab coat. Oh! Oh, jeez. Oh! Fuck. Rose! What's going on? You alright? Oh. We had a scare. Floral. She knows her. Oh no. What? Yeah. The teacher. Who was she? Miss Martin. Mm. Our nurse at the school. She stayed when all the others left. I saw her coming. She looks. So, even if the walkers haven't fed or anything, they don't just die Can off? Barely recognize her. She's just, just like all the others. I'm sorry, Ruby. I, I just wish I could make her look like she used to. I think that's a positive way. One day I... we came out looking for food. Walkers attacked us. Thought we could fight them off, but there were just, there were so many. Ms. Martin told us to run, so we did. Oh, she sacrificed herself. She taught me how to patch people up. Stitching, local anesthetics, painkillers, fever reducers. I don't think I can take care of her. Would you? I'm sorry. So many thoughts. Oh, so many things that I want to talk to you guys about at the end. Are you okay? Yeah. Just need a minute. Come on, guys. Help me find that propane and we can get out of here. Bitch. Come on. Oh, okay. Remind me to talk about it. Remind me to, like you guys are actively talking. Ah. <laughs> uh, I guess, like, real quick before I forget, because I, I think I will forget by the end of it, but uh, there's a plant for our room, by the way. Overall, I don't know if it's because you get used to it. Like, I do think that you get used to the shock and awe, although I wasn't expecting, like, Lily to return. So there is still, like, some surprise to it. But I don't know if it's because this is our fourth game by now. But I'm just having a really hard time connecting to the characters in this one. I wonder if it's because they're kids versus adults. Um, and maybe throughout this whole thing, they always tell you that kids are a, like a hindrance to the survival of the adults or situations like that. But even still, like besides Clem and AJ, I'm just not really connecting with these characters like the previous seasons. And I'm trying to like figure out exactly why that is it's not like i am disinterested in the story i think the the plot is really good so far i think there's a lot that's coming out with it but i also do feel like maybe the pacing in this game feels a little bit different it is a lot slower i think this game is generally a little bit slower paced it feels like there's an hour to an hour and a half of build up and then everything happens i mean and it was kind of similar in the previous ones you had your action pack sequences and then you had your you know slower down find things search around but overall the pace of this game feels a little bit just like not as sta i don't know not as stable it's like fluctuates Ugh, so much looks like piss dare you to drink it <laughs> Not in a million years. Absolutely not. Limp. Does it allow me to? Can I actually choose it? <laughs> but I don't know. I, I'm interested to see how I feel at the end. Maybe 
having by like the third episode i'll care a lot more about the characters but i always felt like right away i picked up on which characters i felt like immediately drawn to and there were always a decent chunk of them you uh, mitch is this useful fucking a i was hoping there'd be one of those that's, that's an igniter nice. we can use it to create a spark now we just have to find propane we can blast those motherfuckers to hell okay they're still humans um let's examine everything first before we find the propane including picking up this pretty little plant <gasps> a venus flytrap wasn't i talking about that i think last episode i think i talked about a venus flytrap <laughs> nice beautiful and deadly perfect for decorating your room during an apocalypse hmm nothing AG. Ow. Oof. Mm -mm, having flashbacks to school and I don't want to think about it. Won't we get in again. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Although, I always felt like everybody talked crap about uh, more mushrooms, by the way. Everybody talked crap about um oh man anatomy one and two i liked that i'm not gonna grab the propane tank yet what is the purple liquid okay before we talk to him is there anything else we can gather for our let's talk to her real quick because i know she's still Ms. thinking Martin about it and a lot to you huh she was the only one who stayed she saw us for what we were a bunch of kids who no one wanted. She loved us when nobody else did. Like, really loved us. Yeah, I've known people like that. I guess everyone has. Yeah. You find anything? I actually, I don't know what this is. <laughs> Genuinely don't understand what that is, but that's fine. Let's talk to him real you quick. You seem to know a lot about bombs. I made my first one when I was eight. Really? Oh. I blew up the garage. It was awesome. Though, Dad didn't think it was awesome. <laughs> Dad gave me a chemistry set to keep me from fighting the neighbors. Uh, why would you fight the neighbors? I had a lot of energy. I had to use it somehow. And they didn't like my face. Mm. They didn't like my face. <sighs> Let's hope there's gas in it. Come on. Hi, it's Spidey B. <laughs> yeah, perfect. Here. Thanks, Mitch. Good find. Fuel now we for have our everything bomb. we need. We should get back and tell the others. We have to bury Ms. Martin first. Bury her? Uh, Why bother? It's a walker. Help me drag it out back. We're gonna we have to decide it. this. No. Ms. Martin's the reason we're all alive. Probably. And she deserves a proper burial here. Next to the greenhouse. Next to the greenhouse she loved. That way the others won't have to see her like this. She's been dead for years. There's no point. She deserves a real burial. Is she really, really dead though? What if she I'll help you bury her? It's the right thing to do for someone you cared about. Thank you so much. Well, I guess even if we burn it's not it. It's her. It's a walker. Fine. Whatever. I'm not wasting my energy on that thing. I feel like we would have buried Lee had we had the time. It's the least we could do for her. That was fast. Oh, oh and we had the shovel. The graveyard. Back at the school. But Ms. Martin loved this place. She'll be happy here. I'll make sure everyone knows you help me. That you've got a, a good heart under all that muck. <laughs> hey. Oh. <laughs> we all have muck, okay? It's not like I'm a bad person. Think it'll be enough? No. Hopefully. And it means Lily and her people won't be able to climb the walls. They'll have to come through the gates. We can plan for that. Straight um, into a fiery explosion of death. Assholes won't know what hit them. 
Yeah, it's like how many um, people is Lily really going to send to get some kids? I mean, in her words, some kids. I think it's going to be a lot harder than she thought or she bargained for. They're going to lose as many people as they're trying to gain. That's for sure. And we can decorate our place. AJ. Brought you these. I noticed his shirt got messed up when, you know. Where did you get those? They were tens back when he got here. Should be about AJ's size. You're so How's he young. doing? Better. His fever's down. Thank you for carrying him in. No problem. So, we've got a greenhouse again, and bombs. Yeah. Mitch's idea. I figured. I keep bringing weapons. Violet says we'll start getting this place ready in the morning. Good. They all seem okay with letting you stay. For now, anyway. <laughs> That's all I wanted. While we get ready to fight. That's all I wanted, too little too late. Yeah, I'm glad. All I've wanted is for them to forgive us. I said they're fine with you being here, at least till the raiders are gone. That doesn't mean they all like you again. Just Everyone else use is okay us. with the staying. What about you? It's fine. Well, he gets better. And after that? I don't know, Clementine. Clem? Hey, kiddo. Mm. How do you feel? Better. Still hurts. I know. Hi, Louis. Hey, little dude. I missed you. <laughs> Are we friends again? Doesn't really work like that. Just get some sleep, okay? Lewis? I really missed you. I'm sorry we hurt you. I'm sorry that you're hurting and uh, it's our fault. It wasn't all you. Marlin, he... Slaughtered somebody else in your group, and we still haven't really gotten Forget our Forget it. I should go. It's not like I'm unforgiving of Marlin, but... I'm not I'm saying... I'm not mad at him anymore. Are you? He helped carry me, and he was by my bunk when Ruby gave me stuff. I was never mad. AJ, I was never mad at him. I understand why he acted that way. Why he wanted us gone. Yeah. <sighs> Me too. Let's get a look at the shirts Lewis brought you. <gasps> then we'll sleep. It's been a long day. Yeah. James was nice, but I don't like sleeping on the ground. Mm. Me neither. I can't help but feel like they... I don't know, like they supplemented with all of these other things that we can now do in this one, like collectibles, decorating the room, the shirt. I mean, it's probably all to make it feel more like home, but for some reason it just feels like it's also to add some time onto the table. I don't I'm a little unimpressed by the season so far. AJ Disco Broccoli shirt. Erickson sports jersey or AJ science dog shirt. Wait, I definitely want to go with the science dog shirt, but I want to see his hey, response look, to this one. It's Disco Broccoli and his friend. I wish you could have seen this cartoon. Me too. I like that they allow us to use them and like you can hear the dialogue. How about before this one? It looks like Tin's boots. Oh yeah, I think it's the same character. Cool. He might like that. Hey, this one's pretty cool. Mm, looks like Marlin's jacket. Yeah, it does. Oh, huh. yeah. But it would still look good on you. I do like the colors in that. Love Disco Broccoli, but I feel like he's going to think that's a little too kiddish. I would... Oh, as opposed to the science dog shirt. <laughs> I'm going to go science this dog. work. You can put it on when you feel better, okay? Yeah. Time for sleep. I can't sleep with the light. I'll blow it out in a second. Well, let's go ahead and decorate our room, y'all. I think we got place fly trap. Okay. 
I'm gonna be so mad that I missed collectibles on this one. I know it. I don't know where, but I just feel it in my bones. Okay, so we can relook at those. I guess we place another skull up here. Nope. Skull. Place four skull on the shelf. Wait, that looks nice. so cool. And place mushroom. I wonder how long it'll last. <laughs> I actually didn't think the mushroom was gonna be something that we could bring back, but pretty cool. Oh, I forgot that she can interact with them. That's a weird plant. It's a fungus. A fungus. <laughs> Doesn't look fun. Fun gas. Let's see what else. So we have those shirts. I think that was everything we collected, y'all. Outside of a couple weapons. I wonder if we kept the iron bar. Oh, let's look at the flytrap. That plant looks scary. Oh, it is. It's a flytrap. <laughs> it eats bugs. A plant can eat bugs? I used to have one when I was a kid. <laughs> That's so, so awesome. A plant can eat bugs. The pot looks a little wonky. Other than that, we saw the shirts, but we've already talked about the shirts, so why are they allowing us to react? Science dog is pretty great. Yeah, Tim likes him. It's just additional dialogue? Hmm. Strange to think this used to be a regular school. Ah, that was a sweet smile from her. So I can't talk to him anymore, so let's Good go night. to sleep. Sleep tight. Don't let a walker bite. And if it tries, <sighs> bang. Ah. He seems like so unimpacted by the death of, like, by killing someone. I mean, I know it's been a little bit, but it's still so fresh, you know? No. Oh. I got tired just seeing them sleep. <laughs> Follow her, uh, it follows a similar pattern, I feel like. Like, you go to sleep, you put your collectibles down, you go to sleep. And you get up for the next day, and something's gonna happen before we're done with this episode. Ooh. Whoa. Okay, that's, okay. I kind of like how they did that. So he finally recovered. He put on a new shirt. He put on the disco dog. No, the science dog. I didn't count how many days. Oh, no need. Two weeks later, Lily and their group took two weeks before they wanted to come and fight them or try to get them? Seems foolish to me. Hmm. Who knows the amount of strides? AJ? Where are you? Hmm. What? Are we having a dream? It's gotta be a dream, right? Uh, yeah. It's a dream. <laughs> okay. Our world now. What if there's something over here to collect? Just saying, dream or not. Okay, just making sure. Hey, Jay. What 
What happened to the horse? Poor baby. I told you this season got dark. Hey, Dre. The fighting. Definitely fighting. We heard a lot of guns. You were having a nightmare. Same one you used to have all the time. About what happened at the ranch. Oh. I'll be okay. Just give me a minute. Are we ever gonna talk about what happened at the ranch? Hey, what do you have there? Did you have a bad dream too? You've been having them a lot lately. Sounded like voices. I feel safer like this, not sleeping. I want to stay up forever. I probably could. Like 18 days, if I tried hard. You're safe here. We're safe here, AJ. It doesn't feel like it. You used to think so. Ah! He still has pain. Here, let me help you back to bed. No. Having a wound. You don't not have sleeping. to keep checking on me. You always say, be tough. So I am. You say, be strong. And I will. All the time. Strong, not stupid. I raised you to be strong, not stupid. I'm not. Shutting people out when they're trying to help you? That's stupid. Please, don't call me stupid. Not the best response. Fair enough. <laughs> I'm sorry you had to do all the hard work. To atone me. For. I'm gonna help you more, so you don't have to do everything. Where are you going? On patrol. Patrol? For danger. Bad people. Monsters. Whatever you have nightmares about. Try to go protect us. What if you stayed here instead? If you go back to sleep, I'll stay awake and make sure no more bad dreams come. You can't do that. You're not magic. <laughs> How do you know? Maybe I have magic and never told you. <laughs> no, you don't. What is it? Can I... Could I maybe sleep in your bed? Like I did when I was little? Yeah, come on up. Aw, I was wondering why they didn't I'm do that scared. earlier. I'm not scared, just tired. Makes sense to me. Think you need that? The calm before the storm. AJ? What? You're still little. Yeah, I know. He is. He's small. <laughs> okay, here's where it all goes down. Seems to be the recipe they have for these episodes. The traps. <sighs> you ready to work today, kiddo? Bad <laughs> dreams always make me more tired. Me too. I slept better in your bed. It's my turn to be lookout. Ah. He does always want to help, and he I wants her, to, do. her to realize that Nothing. he can take just, care of her too. It's important. God damn it, Lewis! Take this seriously for once in your life. I've been taking this seriously for fucking days. 
Almost two weeks. So has everyone. Get over yourself. Hey, I thought Lily and Abel would show up days ago. I wonder why they're holding off. Don't know. All I wanted was more time to prepare, but now this waiting sucks and everyone's on edge. Yeah. Need my help? Yeah, actually. Could you check on everyone and make sure they're doing shit right? Sure, I'm on it. Thanks, Clem. I should go board up the back hallway since Lewis isn't gonna do it. Lewis is such an interesting character because I feel like a lot of times he shows these leadership characteristics and then other times he's just disinterested, like doesn't want to help at all. Pretty clear message. Go away. <laughs> Be gone. The flagpole. Still wouldn't want to pledge oh. to that. Yeah. Let's go look at the walker head on the spike. Hopefully this at least creeps the raiders out. Mm. Not so sure about that one, but... Alright, so we'll check on them in a second. We'll check on Lewis in a second. Uh, I guess... Mm, okay, we'll check on him. Ooh. Not feeling too hot. Shit. What's going on? In a few weeks, or days, or hours, the raiders will be here. Burn down our place and steal or kill us. And then it won't matter how much I sucked at this. The raiders aren't gonna burn anything or steal anybody. We'll stop it. You sound like Marlin. I mean, not about fighting, but when he was trying to cheer us all up. For years, I sat around making stupid jokes, playing stupid games, while my best friend was left with all the responsibility. Okay, the I understand calls, now. All the sleepless nights. Yeah. And eventually, a bullet in the head. And I didn't do a damn thing about it. And then when you tried to tell us what he was really like, and AJ shot him, I blamed you. Both of you. If I could take it back, I would. I knew that the F day you, you got Lewis. back, I, I still do. I forgive you. I forgive you. I understand why you did it. I'm not angry. He was my best friend, almost like my brother, but the things he did, they were fucked up. Would things have been different if he had shouldered Here. some of the responsibility, though? It. Are you sure? I mean, it's Marlin's. Yeah, it was. And he used it to defend the school before... Before uh. he stopped. Go ahead. Try it. Smooth draw. That okay, let's do this. Please. I got this. I also need a snack. I'm starving. And just so you know... I'm totally laughing out loud when you miss. <laughs> it's a good thing I won't miss. Oh! I... The first one doesn't count. I didn't realize that. I was thinking you were gonna have to, like, pull it back. Damn. Remind me to never piss you off while I'm standing at a moderate <laughs> distance with a big red circle painted on my chest. You want to come back and practice more? Just let me know. Oh, okay. okay. Sounds good. I might just do that so that Clem, we can have you. additional dialogue. For all of it. Hmm. That's sweet. You practice shooting with Lewis. All right. Also remember collectibles. Collectibles. Hmm. What can we scavenge for? Our room. Walk her head on a stick for the room? Yeah. Not that nice. What's up here? I can't see dark areas anymore without thinking of smile. That movie's plaguing my dreams right now. It wasn't like that scary, but it just psychologically oh, did me in. There's no way to get back there or do anything. Huh. Alright, so we're checking on people for Violet. I know we can check on- oh! Let's check on uh, Mitch. How are these bombs coming hey, along? what are you doing? Mm, test. Gotta see if the bomb will go off. This little thing won't kill anybody. 
Just gotta see if it'll light. Yeah, it better. Our whole plan rests on that little thing. If they get in, I'll need you to set the bomb off while I distract them. Expect right. the unexpected. Yeah, something like that. I, I read that on one of those stupid inspirational posters. <laughs> School used to have them everywhere. As soon as things went to shit, I tore them all down. Stupid shit. Uh, could no. you? Uh, my hands all fucked up from messing with it all day. Oh. Here we go. Stand back. Where do you get a little bottle of propane? Fucking shit. If it doesn't work. Fucking you need shit. It. Keep trying. I'm Keep sure trying. you'll get it. Keep trying. It's not like I got all the time in the world to play scientist and figure this shit out. I'll figure it out. I just need more time. Alone time to oh. think. I get it. I'll leave you alone. Didn't he Thanks, say he though. did one of these when he was like eight? For helping. I helped Mitch with his bomb. Hardly say that, but still, I'll take it. I feel like also we could be using so many things in the shed by the river to help us. All right, let's Do talk you think to Sophie him. and Minnie might be with them when they get here? Oh, I didn't I think about know. that. Maybe. I'm doing watch, Clem, for danger. Like patrol? No, Clem. Lookout's totally different than patrol. How so? <laughs> you don't walk. Oh, right. Oh. Did I check on everybody? Check in with Violet, okay. I thought there would be some over by the graves, but that's a really good point. I feel like if they were smart, which the raiders, I, I'm i assuming they're of s somewhat intelligent, I would bring the sisters as like leverage and threaten them. Nothing left we can use. Wonder if they ever tried to rebuild it after it burned down. Doesn't look like it. Hmm. Aww. What are you doing down there, Rosie? <laughs> Good girl. Oh, what did Marlon used to do? Rosie will remember that. <laughs> Ooh, this could come in handy, you guys. If we're getting attacked, watch. Rosie's gonna come in clutch. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, we can interact with the graves. He didn't deserve to die how he did, however. I feel really bad about Brody's death. I hope it's beautiful where you are, Brody. Hmm. It looks like we can do something else with these, y'all. Spit on Marlin's grave? No. I'm not gonna do that. Minnie and Sophie. And an unmarked grave. And then what is this? Aw, Miss, Miss Martin. Martin. Thanks for protecting everyone. Yeah. Alright, let's check back in with Violet. Well, let's see. Let's check back in with him and see if it made a difference. Oh, no, I should have been two to one parts. Maybe well, with the double it didn't... Uh Mitch? The dirt would catch if the propane was soaked in... Oh, no, no, stupid. All right. Uh, do we try... Let's try to have one more conversation with... Also, can we look out? Oh, check it out. That's such a small thing. Wait, what if that makes a big difference? Yeah, I, I almost didn't do that. I don't know how much of a difference it would make, but that's such a weird, subtle thing no, that no one's coming over those. I almost missed. Hmm. Oh, yeah. Let's pick up the bow. We'll see if we can get five for five. Oh, I don't think he's gonna do anything. Ooh, that draw. Oh. Oh my gosh. Trying to account for the sway a little too much. It's fine. It works. All right, let's see. Talk to. Violet Lewis. went to board up the hallway, didn't she? Yep. 
I would have done it later. I just wanted to do this first. It's okay. She needed something to keep herself busy. It's probably well, true. Well then, glad to help. Go ahead and practice if you want. It's all ready for you. Hmm. I think he... Oh, sorry. <laughs> it was the, the falling asleep made me more sleepy. Hmm. Place looks ready for a war. Most certainly does. I don't know how effective it is, but we'll see. All right, so we can talk to Violet, but I was going to say, he blames himself for so much, I think. And he kind of spoke to it a little bit there, but for some reason, him and Violet just seem to be... Secure. How is friction. everyone? Okay, or, you know, a total fucking mess. They're ready. They're ready for this. Really? Really. The school is defended, and everyone's eager to get the fight over with. That's true. Because you're boring and your idea is stupid. Oh. I'm being stupid? So I don't know. You're the one who can't think straight. If you could hear yourself- Guys, what the fuck? Violet told us to work on the traps together, but a sim won't listen to anything I say. That doesn't mean you have to scream at each other. Stay out of this. I have an idea for duffel bags filled with bricks. We drop them on the raiders if they get to the <sighs> admin building. Willie here wants to use a giant idiotic swinging log to take out one raider at most. It's completely stupid. Why not both? You're stupid. You're being childish. I am not. Brick I'm log. To help. So help and stop arguing. Asim is right. We should use his brick trap. It sounds more practical. Mine's practical too. No, it isn't. It's exactly the kind of thing a child would think of. I Especially mean, a it child could who work. Has no idea what he's up against. <laughs> oh. What the shit? Ooh. Dude, you okay? Yeah, fine. Shit. Christ. In or we'll kill each other before the raiders even get a fucking chance. All right, what we need is something to break the tension. Food. Hey, buddy, how's it hanging? Piano. Dude, fuck off. Sulking in the corner isn't gonna help us fight off the raiders. Or turn that frown upside down. You get more annoying every day. <laughs> Regardless, I've come I've up alone. with a plan to make everybody feel better. And that plan is a game. War. Come on, we gotta play. Okay, oh, no, I'm no, 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 no. Well, we haven't played a game in weeks since that night with Marlin. Great. I mean, Great. if you wanna go ask Ruby to come play, I don't mind waiting. Shut up, dude! I swear to God. You've got a crush on Ruby? No. <laughs> what are we playing? Truth or Dare. You don't use cards in Truth or Dare. You do in this version. Everyone draws. Highest card gets to ask, Lois card has to answer. There's like an echo in the courtyard whenever there's courtyard scenes. Oh. <laughs> this should be good. Let's see. Truth. Marry, fuck, kill. Are Bye. we serious? Fine. Marry, flip, kill. Ruby, a sim, or James, that guy who saved you. Oh my god. Oh. You gotta answer. Wait, Them's Lewis wasn't in it? Lewis wasn't in it? Let's see. I would marry... What are my options again? Ruby, I... Oh. Oh, I'm marrying James. He was so, like, I don't know. Oh, what if the Hika turns out to be, like, really evil? <laughs> oh, he was so, like, he helped us in a down moment. I'm gonna James. go James. He sounds mysterious. He's a mystery man. You pronounce horrifying differently than I do. Ooh. Didn't you say he wore skin? Like... Human skin? Not everybody's perfect. Whatever like. makes you happy, Clem. I would, um, flip. Flip, 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 flip. Flip, flip, flip. flip. Uh, 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 I don't know. I feel like that comes down to total, like, because the other person I have to kill. I don't really know Aeson that much, to be honest. I know Ruby, and she's really sweet, and I don't want her to die. Ruby. <laughs> what? Sorry. I was just imagining her glare while Clem propositions her. <laughs> what? You sure that's a good idea? What's wrong with you? She picked. Ruby gets a flip. So that means you're killing... This Sorry. Is a sim. Oh, thank God. What? <laughs> You'd rather die than marry or flip Clem. I, uh, no. I didn't mean it like that. This uh, is great. Apparently I picked We're right. Laughing, <laughs> bonding. It's a nice break from thinking about homicidal assholes sneaking into our homes to kidnap us. Not if you bring it up. On to round two. On to round two. 
All right, please give me a high one. Oh, okay. I win. And poor Sim loses. Definitely a dare. Oh. Okay. Do your worst. Go kiss a walker head. Ask Ruby for a kiss. You have to ask Ruby for a kiss. Mm -hmm. Seriously? The most legitimate of dares. Legitimate. <laughs> She probably wouldn't have wanted to kiss him. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> oh, I can't breathe. <laughs> well, I think we all learned something about our good friend Asim today. Mainly that he has no romantic charm whatsoever. Shut up. Look sharp, y'all. It's oh. time for round three. Time for round three. We're losing this one. But will we be the lowest? Oh. <laughs> Oh. I got it. We've been pretty hard on poor Sim here, teasing him about sweet Ruby. Seems only fair we mercilessly tease someone else about unrequited love. So, Lewis. Clem. Anyone here you like-like? Seriously? Like-like? What are you, six? Seven, thank you. Don't put me on the spot. Seriously? Putting me on the spot isn't cool. You did it to a sim. That's true. It's okay, Clem. You don't have to answer. And blam. That's how a game dies. Oh, sorry, y'all. Oh, we are doing another round. What? A sim. Again? You've got the high card. Oh. And the loser is Tennessee. Uh. What's something you've never told anyone because you were afraid they'd make fun of you? You got this. I, um, I, I think, I think walkers won't always be around. They'll go away someday. Because uh -huh. the world goes in cycles, right? Ice Age, Stone Age, um, some other ages. So it's like that. This age will end. And another one will start. An age without walkers. Mm. Like it used to be. It'll be better. But how long before it would go back to the same amount of progress? Why is everyone looking at me like that? Did I ruin the game? That's really beautiful. I never thought of it that way. Ah. Uh, you guys know I try to like. What's wrong, AJ? Keep uh, everybody happy. I just don't know what it's like. All of you do, but I don't. I don't remember a time before monsters. Mm. You know what, little dude? It's okay that you don't. Believe me. The world before this one was pretty shitty. Oh. And that feels like a good place to call it. Trying to make it. We should better. finish up our work anyway. It's getting dark. You're on lookout? Yep. Clementine's got it after me. Can okay. I come? Well, of course you can, little guy. I'm surprised. I thought nobody was looking out, so I really thought that was going to be when the raiders snuck up or something. I don't know. Hey. Hey. You maybe want to help me with the brick trap? Yeah, I got some ideas. Cool. I'm sure they'll help. Sorry I punched you. It's okay. It's a pretty good punch. Hmm. <laughs> I'm headed to the right. bell tower. I want to check out our defenses on the back wall before bed. Do you need help? Oh. Sure, if you want. You We're finally going to the bell tower. Instead. I'm on piano duty. What? I gotta get in some practice before one of you decides to chop it into firewood. I've got a project <laughs> I want to try, but I need a second person. I have to pick one. I want to follow Violet. I want to follow Violet. Violet and I have had a connection the whole game. Okay, don't look at me like that. I know you guys think that I'm not like shipping anybody together. Because Lewis liked her, and I'm not going after him. And I did want to see what the piano stuff was about, because I do love playing the piano. However, uh, the bell tower has been a curious thing to me ever since we keep seeing it in the intro. So, uh... Hmm... So, we're checking the walls? Yep, from up there. That's the best view. She gets all the way up here? You ready for a climb? 
What does this remind us of, y'all? Uh. Looks a little dangerous. <laughs> What's more dangerous than walkers? Or that death trap you called a car? That's true. Okay. Sure. <laughs> Come on, you're not chicken, right? <laughs> no. I was thinking about chicken I'm also not Lara Croft. Do you remember those? Not really. I do. We always got them on Sunday. Chicken. There's no time for Grandma to cook between church and Bible study, so fast food. <laughs> That's funny. I'd give an eyeball for a chicken nugget right now. Really? <laughs> kind of. Yeah. This would be terrifying. <laughs> can we... Yeah, what was that guy? I, I don't even remember his name anymore from season two when I threw him off of the bell tower or like down the bell tower as walker food. Wow. Okay, that is pretty cool. You guys know I'm a sucker for views. Barbed wire, traps, weapons. It's everything we planned. You made it happen. We couldn't have done it without you. You've got lookout duty tonight, right? Yep, me and AJ. Do you have time to hang out first? Sure. Where are we going? Ah. Oh. Wow. Beautiful. Sometimes I need the quiet just to get away for a while. It looks cold. <laughs> Clem. Yeah? I know you came back for medicine, for AJ, but after that, you could have just left. Avoided all the bullshit with the raiders. That is true. Why didn't you? Sorry, the first place that's that felt like home. Spot. You don't have to answer. This is where you are? We've all got our reasons. Well, this is my home. I haven't had that in a long time. Feels like it, at least. AJ's never belonged anywhere. This is the first time he's had a home at all. I'm glad. Do you know any constellations? Nope. You? I learned some in school, but can't remember them. No. Uh... Let's make some up. Come over here. You can sit down at that volunteer death. <laughs> if I remember right, everyone's born under a special sign, right? It determines your personality. That's astrology, not astronomy. <laughs> Whatever, let's just make up our own. Rules, signs, what it says about you. It's not like anyone remembers the old way. Okay, let's do it. There! See? It's a fish. A fish. <laughs> A fish? Okay, I could see it. Yeah. Yeah, because you'd go up here and then here. I see it. Right. Now it needs a personality. Bright, pretty, good with other people, always moving, tons of energy. Sounds like anyone we know. Pretty good with people? The energy one is easy. Good with people, not so much. Sounds like me. Hmm, that sounds just like me. Tons of energy. <laughs> really, you always sleep in late. Is I it AJ? Not. You did one time. Totally blew off your lookout shift. Oh. Hmm. Still, it's me. Fine. Next. <laughs> I spy with my eye a knife. A knife. See it? Mm, right there. Right above your head. Yeah, they're all above my head. A knife. Hmm. What kind of knife are we talking about here? I'm assuming this, but I, that's more like a sword, is it not? I'm seeing more of a sword here, but okay. That's fair. Awesome. <laughs> this one's easy. Smart, clean, vicious, dependable. 
someone you want with you in a fight. Smirk. She's talking about herself. From anyone, get shit done. Sounds just like you. Yep. Uh, I like that one. Yeah. Okay. One more time. Next one's I found AJ. A bird. Like a real bird? No, a star bird. Right there. A star bird. Oh, this one's a little bit harder for me to visualize. So I'm guessing that's the beak and the head. Ah. Oh, that's funny. You can't miss it because it glows whatever is next. Yeah, gotcha. Huh, that kind of ruins it. It's too easy. Ah, uh, okay, yeah. A bird is free. With one wing. It could go anywhere it wanted to. Up and up and up and never come back. Mm. Go south, east, west, doesn't matter. You could fly straight into a sunset and see where it ends. I wish it was me. Maybe we'll learn to fly together someday. Sorry, I didn't mean to just oh. talk so much. Is this like... You either choose like it's Lewis or Rywood? Is that? watched people leave before. Family, friends, they never come back. But you did. And now I can't imagine what it would be like if you weren't here. Um. Oh. I feel, oh, oh my god, you guys are gonna hate me. It sounds so much dumber when I say it out loud. <laughs> you know what I mean. I like James out of all of them. <laughs> We're friends. Good I'm ones. sorry, we're friends out here. It's good to have a friend again. But that one is someone I can really trust. That's not as bad as so do we gotta, like, not shipping Kate and Javier together. I don't think it's official until we do. Ugh, I hate arts and crafts. I just don't think that Clem has to worry about a boyfriend or girlfriend right now. You know, I feel Shit. like <laughs> probably time for your lookout shift. Yeah. Ready? Yeah. I also just, it's weird, but for whatever reason, James is like the main character in this episode that I've been like intrigued by, probably because he is so mysterious, but I don't know. There's just something, maybe it's because he is, he's still younger, but I feel like he's more of an adult. I don't know why I'm having a hard time connecting with these younger characters. The Raiders. That guy. He's gonna be with him. Abel. Mm. Yeah one we threw your bad dreams they're all about him aren't they yeah can I swear yet <laughs> I think it's time I can nothing worse than shit if you do no come on kiddo quit asking we're not sailors come on don't because look at I like would that. swear about his stupid face <laughs> I wonder if James is Try out thinking there. about something else. Count the monsters you see. Same number as before. Three, four. Mm. AJ, it's okay if Abel frightens you. You know how to control that. There's ten monsters out there. And he doesn't frighten me. But when he comes here, I call dibs. I'm the one that kills him. He's all yours. Okay. Hey, Jay, I don't like the way you're talking. Killing is never easy or fun or to be treated so casually. Mm hmm. Is it because I'm trying to be good because of Marlon? It's just because you should never think about killing like that. He's going to see something. There's 12 of them now. A lot but what more. if we played rock, paper, scissors? If I win, you change your mind, and I get dibs on Abel. Ugh. I can take him, Clem. Please. AJ, I said no. I'm sticking to no. I'm not rock, paper, scissoring over killing somebody. No. Come on. You won't Kinda always be able be. to tell me no. What did you just say? Nothing. I didn't mean it.
Clem, I see something. Ooh. Not a walker? Here, you look too. The horse. The raiders. Yep. That looks like them. That's not a walker. Yep. Good job, AJ. Come on, we have to tell the others. Jeez. Nighttime, of course. Why is it always nighttime? <laughs> They finally show what up. What do they have in the yeah. cage, though? Stay safe, okay? We're ready. They've got at least four more people, all carrying guns mm -hmm. and carts, probably to carry people away. Oh, We're yeah. Not. Yeah. Assholes. I can't believe they're really here. If they get inside, I'll keep them focused on me. That should give Willie and Mitch time to set up the bomb. Yeah. I'll set it under those carts. It'll work. I promise. If they manage to get in, we fall back. To the admin building. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Right into our traps. They're in for a rude fucking surprise. Those duffel bags will break bones. Easy. So, uh, any final words of wisdom? <laughs> Why is it You'll up to come face me? them in one, after all? Look out well, for each other? Sort of. Lewis, shut it. No matter what happens, look out for each other. Oh, shit! Fuck! Oh, no. Shit! Fuck. shit. Oh. Hide! Now! Omar! I got him! Agent, oh, hide. not Omar! Not the cook! He made the best rabbits, too! What are you... Right in the thigh, too? Oh, Lily is a little... Bitch. My bow! Go! Go. I'll be alright. No time. Go. All right, let's get this done. Okay. Let's go. Somebody's going to die. I already feel it. Lily, you don't All right, it's okay. Mm -hmm. Just try not to move or make noise. How does she recover from that arrow so easily? What the fuck is all this? Focus. You just scare crows. I mean, it scared one person. So. They took this seriously. Spread out. She's such a little. Okay. Chance. Oh, they have. Oh, okay, they have a sniper. Where's our new recruits? They're not yours. Search the yard. Hmm. If Clementine moves, shoot her. Oh God, I'm gonna have to make hard decisions, aren't I? We'll find them, Clementine. Watch out and for then traps. we'll take them. Killer? And you. And your little boy. <gasps> oh. <gasps> okay, I meant to answer. What? Okay, I died. I lost that one. No, hold on. No. <laughs> I keep waiting Where's too long to recruit? answer. Sorry. <laughs> They're not yours. Yeah. Search the yard. Okay, I have to respond back to it fast, too. Wow, that was brutal. Straight if to the Clementine face. Clementine moves, shoot her. Oh my god, I don't know what's happening. We'll find them, Clementine. Take me. Yeah. You want soldiers? Fine. Take me with you. But leave everyone else. You'd do that? You'd come with me if I let the others go? Yes. Yeah. I'm not like you, Lily. You've changed. I grew up. I can see that. Ooh. <laughs> God, you are just like him. 
Lee would have been heartbroken knowing he taught you all the wrong things. That the sweet little girl he protected turned out like this. You're right, Lily. I am just like him. And if he saw me now, he'd be proud of who I am. Why? Because you almost gave up just now? <gasps> Handed yourself over to save your friends? Right. I'm sure that made all his sacrifices worth it. I am so glad to find out that she has not changed a Get damn bit. out! If you won't help me find the others, I'll find someone who will. We recruited from this school before. Minnie wanted to come along tonight to tell you how well she's adjusted to her life, how happy she is. Mm. She said she had a girlfriend back here. Friends she missed. One guy who could always make her laugh no matter what. And her little brother. She missed him the most. No. Shit. Ten, no. Where are they? Let me take you to them. I can't. I just want them back. Please. You'll be happier where they are. Shut up, Lily! You've always been a liar and a killer! You're not taking anyone else from me! No! Let's go. <laughs> nice. Come on, let's go. It's time to do this. We gotta take the girl out in the tree. We gotta take her out first. Oh. Nice. Ten, no. God damn it. I knew he was a jerk, but I started to like him. Kill who you have to. Take the rest. Not much. Come on, let's get him. Wait, how did that come from a front angle? I mean, it was kind of like a front side. Okay, okay, that makes more sense. Come on, let's get this. Yeah, actually, being inside isn't the worst thing ever, but could I prevented- could I have prevented Mitch's death? Like, if I had done that so differently, maybe if I had killed her, could I have actually chosen to kill her at the start? Maybe I could have, and then she wouldn't have killed Mitch. I just think if I took the shot at her, I would have died, or somebody else would have died still. Ten would have died. Let's hope that I picked the right choice here. Okay, so because I didn't do- okay. I don't like- ah. I get it. I thought I was waiting for the right timing. Like, remember when we tossed the bags in the first episode? You had to wait until they were within a certain spot. I didn't realize we needed to press it right away. I have a love-hate relationship for this season right now. Not even because I know I keep getting a lot of deaths. That's not why. It just feels- I don't know. Just different. Yep. No. That'll Kill do. That man, the girl. All right. We're going to throw a sofa on her. Please tell me we're going to throw this on her. Okay, it's not enough to kill her. Pointless. I told Lily you wouldn't cooperate. <laughs> No, we're separate from AJ. AJ, the door! Lock it! <gasps> Your friend Lily ain't around this time, so we'll have a nice little chat. You and me, alone. Ooh. Fuck it, bitch! Clem, I can't. Stay back! No! Oh! Shit. 
you here yeah oh Ooh. oh take him out the window take them out the window don't go with him but like oh I don't know okay yeah, I got him I got him I got him AJ! Oh, no! There's no way it ends on that. God damn it! Oh. Ooh. This man's been done so dirty. Lily. Shit. This should be easy. See you in hell. We were family once. You won't kill me. I know you won't. Why? We were like family once. He won't hurt family. That's not true. Actually, that's kind of true. She protected her dad over anything. Lewis. Dumb. <laughs> oh. Okay, come, come, come. Oh. Oh, I told you Rosie was gonna come in clutch. I told you. Wait, it's Rosie, right? I think it's Rosie. No, they got Lewis. Not Violet. James. I don't know why I'm obsessed with James, you guys. I don't know why. I'm gonna choose to kill. I have to pick which person. You know I have to save him. You know I have to save him. Or save her. Fall back! Pull in and fall back! Oh, all they got was one person. Definitely not gonna pass. Did they get Asa? Okay, they got multiple. Did they get 10 too? Just those? Oh. Oh, shit. Anything else? Okay. First try that. You know what? Oh, shit. I should have let them take. Violet, because of her relationship with Minnie. Why do I feel like a zombie is right on me? I, I knew it. I knew there was this walker right on me. I heard it. Ah! Uh, I'm not used to. I knew it was right there. So annoying. There he is. I just don't trust it. Just making sure. This one. Why do I hear one like right behind me? Nice. Okay. We got that sequence, it's fine. <sighs> Who did we lose? Lewis, Asim, 10, I think. Lewis can hold his own, we know that, but... I hate how they make you have to choose between Violet and Lewis the entire time. I don't know why I started going... 
I, I chose Violet from the start. I don't know why. Good boy. Or good girl. I wonder if Clem, she helped solely because we pet I, her earlier. I'm sorry for trusting her. Okay, so Ten is still with us. <laughs> Who? Yeah. He didn't deserve to die. They took them. Sim and Omar and... God damn it, Louis. I know. And they'll come back for us. We're going after them. If we knew where to look, I'd smash down their walls myself. Mm. But we don't. We do, James. Well, we've got someone who does. Just kidding. Never mind. I keep bringing up James. <laughs> Y'all are like, Maggie, stop thinking about James. <laughs> this makes more sense why I'm obsessed with Michael Myers than his mask. <laughs> Something about somebody in a mask. All right. Oh, I don't know why, but that fight felt very anticlimactic to me. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. I, I, you guys have seen me. I love this series. I've loved every other season. I even loved the season where we played as Javier. But for whatever reason, this season I'm having a really hard time connecting with. I don't know, like that's probably an unpopular opinion, but I wonder, like, please let me know if you guys felt the same. I honestly, I mean, there's two more episodes and we can kind of understand. Hold on, let me go ahead and turn this off. We can kind of understand where it's going to go. The direction it's going to take is, you know, we're going to go have this showdown with Lily. One, the whole idea of Lily surviving this long, definitely understandable. I know we left her on the side of the road, so very understandable um, and possible. But something just really doesn't sit well with me that they that out of everybody from the very first season, she's the one that made it to the final season on top of Clem. Um, sorry. But which makes it for the total like, OK, villain, you know, we didn't like her back then. She still hasn't changed her ways. We still don't like her. So I get that. I understand. But it just still feels I don't know. The writing in this season feels a little off to me, like more than normal. Like I would think I talked about this. I did feel like the writing in season three, whatever you chose to say, it felt misleading from what actually came out of the characters' mouths when it came to your choices. This one, I just feel like the overall story is very slow, and I have a feeling that the, like, what I'm expecting to see is the last two seasons. It goes, like, all the way, and it's action-packed the entire time, and this is just, like, setting up and building up the suspense. But I don't know why. The pace doesn't feel like any of the other ones, and it just feels, something feels off. I got to think about it more. I got to digest on it more. Otherwise, I'm going to keep rambling and really making zero genuine uh, sense here. But all right. So you and 64% of players told AJ to keep his gun. I'm actually kind of surprised by that. I talked about it in the moment. Also, this one, I felt like it was a lot harder than the rest of them for me to talk while I was playing. The other ones seemed to have a good amount of time where I could actually... Um, interact with the game and be able to talk my feelings out with you guys and then you know we'd have cutscenes. so I know I interrupted the game a lot this one but yeah so I talked about it I think it was smart too however it didn't really end up making the biggest difference in the world unless if Lewis had taken it maybe that gun could have helped us more in the end you know because that would have given us one gun versus we were fighting in the end there with all bows and arrows and whatever we could find so unfortunately i do think if we had given it to lewis we would have seen that used later on um okay i'm in a really really low percentage 33 percent of players gave aj's gun to lewis okay okay oh okay these were the other okay i'm sorry 1% of players didn't intervene when, okay. And then 2% of players said nothing. I wonder if it just automatically goes over to Lewis if you choose not to. Uh, you and 50, wow. 
dead center. You and 50% of players told Violet to shoot Lily and got Lewis shot. In the end, didn't really matter. Lewis was going to be fine. 50% of players told them to run. Um, either way, there would have been a distraction. I think the outcome of that was either Lewis gets shot or not. But I don't see how that... Uh, maybe is that what impacted his aim later on when he was using the bow? I'm not quite sure there. You and 93% of players spared the walker, honoring James's request. 6% of players killed him. <laughs> I can kind of understand that. I think I talked about it earlier, but James to me is the most intriguing character out of this whole season so far. Obviously, I felt the same way with James or with um Jesus in season three. For some reason, like any character that kind of breaks this typical just feels different. I don't know. In this case, James is very different right like he's kind of choosing the pacifist post-apocalyptic route um and so we haven't really seen that before and he's smart with it he's very intelligent and that got displayed in his dialogue and his choices and his actions so i kept bringing him up i know i gotta let it go we probably i who knows we might not see him again but yeah i refuse to believe that i think we're gonna see him in the next one especially because he knows where they are. But you and 57% of players spent time stargazing with Violet. 43% of players helped Lewis tune the, the, I almost said the potato, the piano. I, the musical side of me wanted to tune the piano with him. However, I just felt like I had formed more of a friendship with Violet from the start. I feel like you're going to typically go whatever direction you choose from the very first episode. Lewis is a great character and I've liked him at times. I've disliked him at times, but overall, I feel like Violet has been a fun friend to have. And I think Clem needs more friends. But and plus Lewis's reaction during that was wow. You and fifty three percent of players rescued Violet instead of Lewis. Interesting. I was thinking, I was thinking that maybe that was the wrong choice because if Violet had gone with Minnie, maybe she would have had a better chance at convincing Minnie, or like maybe somehow it affecting the future episodes because obviously Minnie and Sophie are going to come back into although she never said Sophie didn't she she just said Minnie so I wonder if Sophie's dead I don't know there's a lot to unpack there you and 64 percent of players told AJ to keep the gun 50 percent okay so those are our things summed up that was a very mixed bag right there you and 56 percent of players left Lily feeling unconvinced Lily was gratified that you remembered her. I shouldn't have. I acted. I should have acted like I didn't even know who she was. She was pleased when you accepted to help her stand. I wish I had not, but there was a side of me that kind of hoped she had changed. But obviously, they're children snatchers. All of a sudden, I think of Chitty Chitty Bang Bang, where it's like the lollipops candy guy, like the kidnapper. You and 85% of players allowed Lewis to be kidnapped. Lewis was comforted when you said you were sorry. You and AJ hurt him. Lewis felt discouraged when you chose to spend time with Violet instead of him, obviously. Lewis felt discarded when you let the Raiders take him. I've been doing Lewis so dirty. I like him. I do. But for some reason, I have this like very back and forth relationship with him in my head. Violet was relieved when you and AJ returned to the school. You left Violet feeling vengeful. Okay, that's not bad. Violet was touched when you described her as a close friend. Yeah. I like that it wasn't a situation where she was upset at me for not saying that I wanted to be more. I think the game allows you to choose that path if you want to. Like, you could have said that you liked somebody at the camp, but... Abel's captured. Abel was outraged when you told Violet to shoot Lily. And Abel was startled when you told Lily to take you and leave the others. And that's what caused the distraction. Yes! You and 90% of players left Ruby feeling grateful. I like Ruby now. I like that they are letting us um, get to know some of these characters better as it goes along. Although they did kind of do Omar and Asim dirty because we haven't really gotten a lot of uh, time with them. So Ruby was distraught when AJ took responsibility for killing. And then Ruby was consoled when you expressed sympathy over finding the school nurse. Yeah, and we helped her bury her. I feel so bad for Mitch. Mitch did not deserve that. I wonder if you could have kept him alive. I, I actually ended up liking Mitch despite him being... It sounds like in this season, I'm getting anybody who is an asshole to us killed. And that's not the case. <laughs> that's not the case. Mitch was surprised when you admitted AJ was wrong to kill Marlon. Yeah. Mitch was irritated when you decided to help Ruby bury the walker. But I didn't care about that. For him, I didn't care. <gasps> oh, wow. Okay. 
You and 30% of players left James feeling trusted. James felt helpful when you let him feed AJ. I wonder how many people said no to the apple. <laughs> James was attentive when you said you're originally from Georgia. Hmm. I don't know. There's something. It's like he has like a nice voice. I just, I, it's voices. Him and Jesus. You and 41% of players left. 10 feeling ashamed. Yeah. Yeah. 10 without hopeful after sharing his belief that the Walker age will end someday. 10 I can't get a good read on. Okay, here we go. You and 69% of players left AJ feeling repentant, which is good. That's what I wanted him to go for. AJ was soothed after sleeping in your bed. He was, uh, he was resigned after you didn't let him call dibs on killing Abel. I wasn't about to play rock, paper, scissors for somebody's life. I don't care what he's done. That is not the principle that I want to teach. Like, think about what that does to a child. Like, that just instantly makes him feel like human life is not worth a lot if you're gonna play a game to decide who gets to have dibs on him all right the state of the school omar was kidnapped rosie was loyal to you after you petted her in the courtyard i told you willie was annoyed you didn't choose his trap to defend him yeah willie i honestly forgot exists in this game asim was kidnapped i collected three out of three items let's go okay that actually went a lot better than I think the first episode as long as as far as like my choices. I think I made some critical mistakes in the first one, but y'all, we have two more episodes. Episode 3, Broken Toys. It is going to get good. I think I talked a lot about it, but I'm just expecting us to see going after them. What I don't I still don't quite understand like most of the seasons are how it's going to end. I know that we're going to I I strongly feel like we're going to kill Lily. I feel like that school is truly going to be where we end up and be our home. Otherwise, why allow us to have all these memories there? Why keep having us, like, despite them kicking us out, we came back. We found collectibles for our room. We're making it our home. I refuse to believe that they would allow us to keep building that up if they weren't going to have us end up there. So a lot to be discovered in the next one. Guys, I know this was long. These episodes are very, very long. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know y'all's choices and what you guys would have picked. But other than that, I hope you guys had a great time here. Thank you as always for your time. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.